What's it like to be here and experience this for those who are who are saying, "Oh my God!" And it's hard. It's important, though. Yeah. Hi, Jasmine. How are you? What? What is? What? How would you describe for people who are just love you, love you, you know, oh, we love you. Yeah, love. How would you describe it? What is? What's? What do you feel like inside? Uh, right now, I just feel really sad. It's really eye-opening. I just. I don't know. People need to realize that these animals, like, I just. I'm sorry, I'm like. It's kind of, yeah. I understand. I'll, I'll leave you. I'll leave you to your thoughts. But um, thank you. Uh, it's tough for so many folks here. They are, um, we got, we've got honks of support for people. And um, it's actually, you know, we've got a very large crowd here. This is um, pretty much. Um, pretty much. Um, I would say well over 100 people, and the crowds have been getting larger and larger. And this is part of the SAVE movement, and uh, <clears throat> uh, the, the goal is to have one of these vigils at every slaughterhouse in the world to wake people up and urge people 
to share the videos with their meat eating friends and relatives and co-workers so they can see what's really going on. Uh, yes, I will try to aim it a little higher as far as the light. I have a very small light here and I uh, will try to aim it a little higher. Thank you for that note. Uh, wow. Um, you know, um, we do have power, George. Uh, we have the power to convince our friends and relatives and co-workers not to eat pigs and point out, just show this, share this video. Share this video because when people see it, even if they see it for three seconds before turning it off, it changes them. And they can no longer pretend that, uh, well, what's happening is pigs, you know, roaming in happy fields. That is a total fiction. This is, you know, the lives of pigs in today's factory farming system is institutionalized torture from birth to death. And, um, you know, we've got to wake up to what's happening. Uh, additionally, it's killing people. Processed meat, which is how, you know, people eat a lot of pig, which is hot dog and bacon. That's officially cancer causing, according to the World Health Organization. So, you know, it's killing us. It's also a leading cause of climate change. It's hurting the planet. Hello. Hi, Roger. How you doing? I'm really good. It's nice to see you. Uh, what, what are your thoughts as, as uh, a commissioner that deals yeah. with animal issues? What are your thoughts as you as you see these animals, these pigs? Well, you know, I and I'm going to say some of this at the hearing at 7 o'clock on this Tuesday. But, you know, at the hearing, I'm just going to talk about what it feels like when you when you get the cow right in the mouth with the water, you know? Like when you just see their face go from like, what are you doing, what are you doing, to, oh my God, that's good for me. And they just start slurping it up and they're just so happy and they just want more and more and more. I mean, there's no way not to, in that one moment, create a profound emotional connection with the animal. Yeah. You know, you, you, you've now taken care of it. It's sort of like the, you know, the, the, the little myth of the little prince when you have the fox that the little boy trains. You know, once you've taken responsibility for an animal, even for one moment, you're, you're never going to forget that animal. You know, and, and I think that people need to have that experience so they can really t sense and appreciate the far-reaching implications of what they, you know, what they choose to eat. Yeah, and you know, we have so many people going, oh my God, this is so sad. But we also have some people who are uh, always the yum bacon. And now we have one that says, United States in support of President Trump. I watched the video while having a pork sandwich. What would you say to those people who, who just find it absolutely impossible to, to you know, be real or be authentic? In, I, th I think they feel emotionally challenged by it. I think they feel morally challenged. I think they feel criticized. And, and I don't want to criticize them. You know, I really want to... I, I, it's, it's this, it was the same way with slavery. It was the same way with the women's right to vote. It was the same way with gay rights. You know, there are just people who just don't get it yet, but they will. You know, they will. They'll get it and they'll come around. And until then, we have to love them and stand up for, the, for them. Because as you know, as well as I do, when we fight for the rights of animals, we're fighting for the rights of the humans on this planet. Because until we live and get along with animals properly, we're, we're, the planet's in jeopardy. So, so, so by standing for them evolving and, and understanding better and coming around to our side, we're standing for our lives and theirs at the same time. Thank you so much for all the work you do for animals. And uh, I wish you luck on you your adventure. Like, Thank you so much. Right there. Uh, good to see you. It's good to see you too. Well, see you Thursday. Thursday. Um, it, has it been any I'll, I'll be back as I'm live, but um, we're definitely changing chains. But I know it will. I can tell you that. Thank you. You. We're live, so I want to ask you a little bit about what your feelings are yeah, as you experience photo, this. For those who are at home I saying things like, it. heartbreaking, I can't even imagine the horror that they're going through. I can't stop crying for them. And they're not even here. Here it's, I, you know, I always experience trepidation on the way here. I, I, I literally have to force myself to drive here because I know that's going to be so gut-wrenching. I have stuff for you. Um, I have uh, immense amounts of compassion for anybody who's at home and says, you know, I can't or I just don't want to see it. Um, I know that actually makes a lot of people angry who uh, 
but this is, I call it like a, a hangover almost is how I feel for days after coming. I'm, I don't normally actually feel rested and, and um, at peace again until around Wednesday because this affects me on such a level, but this is part of my life. For me, bearing witness myself and with my children, it's, it's what we do, it's a form of activism that that works for me so that I can share what I've seen through my eyes. If you're not strong enough to come, I'm happy to come and then share with you. And I just tell everybody, share this video because even if people see three or four or 10 or 15 or 30 seconds, they can no longer deny. They can no longer pretend that bacon comes from bacon shit trees. Absolutely, 100%. Thank you, Nikki, and uh, you're an amazing activist who has a micro sanctuary that rescues so many animals, and we appreciate all you do. My pleasure. We love you. Okay. Um, so we are waiting for the next truck to arrive, and uh, it's difficult. It really is difficult to to be here and to experience this. I think what's what's also tough is that you know I have close friends who uh, are not vegan and who are otherwise very good people. And I'm always so flummoxed that I can't get through to them, that I can't, somehow that th there's a firewall that ends with human beings. And they love children and they love, you know, the world, but somehow they, their compassion does not extend beyond their own species. And it really saddens me and I, I just don't get it. I think once you open your heart to other beings who share so much, uh, not just a central nervous system and eyes and a heart, but who feel terror and loneliness and who had mothers, mothers who have been violated for them to exist. Remember, if you're a feminist, if you're an environmentalist, you shouldn't be eating meat because Meat production is the leading cause of climate change, even though Al Gore doesn't talk about it very much. But look it up, look up Livestock's Long Shadow. It's a report by the UN, which points out that animal agriculture causes more greenhouse gases than all transportation combined. And then the World Bank had a whole bunch of economists who said the UN is underestimating agriculture's impact. It's actually 51% of all greenhouse gases caused by animal agriculture. It's a leading cause of habitat destruction. It's a leading cause of, there goes the empty truck and those pigs are all dying, the ones you met at the start of this video. They're dying right now, they're being killed right now. It's a leading cause of habitat destruction, which makes it a leading cause of wildlife mm -hmm. extinction. It's a leading cause of human world hunger because it is a very inefficient food source because all the food we're fitting to billions and billions and billions of animals is not going directly to starving humans. And it's just horribly cruel. And why my friends who are otherwise good people cannot open their hearts to the institutionalized torture of these innocent intelligent beings is one of the most perplexing dilemmas of my life. And I don't understand it. Thank you for watching. Please share this video. Every single person who elects to stop eating animals and their byproducts saves many, many tens of thousands of animals. When you eat one hamburger from a fast food restaurant, it is processed meat from potentially hundreds of different cows. In that one hamburger, you can be complicit in the killing of hundreds of cows. So every person who chooses to go plant-based and everybody here at this pig vigil is plant-based. We're all doing fine, we're all healthy, healthier. Statistically, we have a greater chance of longevity, a lower chance of cancer and heart disease. There's no reason for your own self-interest not to do this. But then, additionally, for the animals, you see their suffering, you know, Unjustifiable killing is defined as homicide. It's murder. What makes this anything but murder? Nothing, in my opinion. It is. We'll be here throughout the night as more and more trucks carrying these innocent pigs arrive from 
long, long distances without food or water, and we will be providing water and comfort. Please share this video and pray for these poor, poor beings. Thank you.